Okay, so um, shall we begin the interview, the podcast? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay, great. Very nice. So let's start with a quick self introduction. Please tell a bit about yourself. Ah uh, yes. Good afternoon, ma'am. My name is Harshin De Patil, and I am presently studying in Army Public School, Devlali. I am studying in Class Nine, and I live in Nashik, Maharashtra. Okay, great. Now, uh, how did you got developed your interest in mathematics? Actually, ma'am, when I was younger, my mother used to teach me maths using Pi Gates theorem. which explains math concepts using objects this made maths appear quite fun and like a game to me so i got interested in it from the beginning okay so initially maths was just a concept of numbers but you made it a concept of objects you associated with it right yes ma'am okay great very nice now uh, can you tell me how would you uh, did you prepare for our mnc test Uh, ma'am i prepared for rnmc test during using the study material that aicteht provided after going through it and understanding all the concepts i timed myself and performed some practice papers okay um so it's a difficult task to maintain your school work as well as prepare for another competition correct so can you yes, describe your whole routine uh, including your school work your homework you also need some physical activity to be done and along with that you need to take some time out for rnmc competition right so can you share your routine with us ma'am in the morning i go to school and after coming back i complete my homework but in the afternoon i make it a point to at least practice maths for at least 1 and 1/2 or 2 hours for rnmc specifically then in the evening i go out to play and do some exercise so and uh, at night i unwind by either meditating or reading some books okay <clears throat> what books do you read uh, ma'am i read books like agatha christie or ruskin bond okay fine uh, do you like some scientific books or some fictional books a comedy ma'am while i am reading what? for pleasure i read fictional books more but okay. scientific books are also good okay great very nice next um there are a lot of uh, difficult questions in rnmc correct what which question do you found uh, did you find very challenging ma'am actually when i started giving the rnmc exam i was in class 6 and at that time all the questions were challenging to me <laughs> but now as i've been giving it for the last 2 3 years i feel that i can solve all the questions confidently okay so by practicing you just developed your skills in mathematics right so practice is the key that you followed yes ma'am also i had learned math from my mother and the concepts that i learned from her plus i practiced all of this and by timing myself i could i felt i could understand it more okay so since we are talking about time and everything uh, we all know that rnmc is a time based competition correct so how did you manage time because whenever you are not timing yourself if you are just solving a particular problem then you do not panic at the situation but in middle if your eyes goes in the time ticking down and down and that time a panic attack comes right so how do you manage uh, time while solving your questions uh, ma'am first when i had solved the rnmc paper i could not finish even half of it because at that time i had never given any time to paper but as i began to practice my time uh, management became more concise now during the paper if i have any difficult question or a question which i think is taking more time i skip it and go to the next so when my paper is done i will come back to those questions so that i don't panic okay so um if you see a difficult question so what is your first approach my my first i think uh, whether i can solve it within the time that i have placed for myself for example in the rnmc we have to solve 30 questions in 45 minutes that makes roughly 1 minute and 30 question uh, 30 seconds for each question so the first 5 10 seconds i think whether i remember uh, whether i can recollect that exact concept or formula and whether i am able to do it if not then i just move forward and let that 1 minute go for the remaining questions okay great nice strategy if you find a simple question then you go and solve that if not then you skip it and keep it for the uh, end time of the interview correct 
Yes, ma'am. By solving the simpler questions first, I managed to have a surplus also, which I can use for the difficult question. Correct, correct. Very nice. Now, um, in RNMC syllabus, which is the topic that you find very difficult in grasping? Ma'am, I practice, so I don't think there is anything that is that difficult. Okay. Initially also, all the topics as you studied, you found it very easy, right? Yes, ma'am. In the beginning, all of them mm -hmm. were difficult. But now as mm -hmm. I've practiced, they have started becoming my friends also. Okay. So since we are talking about easy topics, so which is your favorite topic, let's say, the easiest and it's very fun for you to solve? Um, actually, the whole match is fun for me, but if we talk about most fun, then I would say profit and loss is. Okay, profit and loss, correct. Have you applied profit and loss in your real life? Um, Ma'am, sometimes I help my mother when she's balancing her book or while she's checking the accounts for the month. So then I have used it. Okay, great. Very nice. Now, um, by solving a question, whenever see a question, uh, do you solve it by using mental max or do you apply some tricks? How do you solve the numerical concepts? Um, the numer I have actually studied for uh, Abacus, which I use to solve. And there are some tricks like, for example, calculating square of numbers, which I use to make my calculations faster. Okay, great. Very nice. Now, um, tell me, Harsh, how did you, how did solving max improve your, uh, your growth as a student? Um, by solving mathematic problems and more specifically the competitions like R and MC, my critical skills like logical skills or decision making skills, time management skills, analytical skills, I think all of them have improved due to this. Okay, so everything is gradually improving, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay. What advice would you like to give to another student who would want to participate in this competition? Um, ma'am, I would advise all the students to create a firm foundation of the exam by practicing the key concepts first and understanding them thoroughly. After that, they should use the study material provided by AICTSD and the practice papers and solve them to see whether they are accurately able to do it. But they should also be wary of the time management factor and also the negative marking. My advice is that if you are doubtful about a question, then either you skip it or just leave it. Because if you do some, yes, if you do some guesswork in it and it turns out to be wrong, then you might just lose more marks. Okay, so this is specifically applied towards negative marking, right? If, if you just uh, randomly give an answer, so there are chances that it can be wrong and it will lose, uh, make you lose the marks that you have gained earlier. Yes, ma'am. Right? So it's better if you're 100% sure, answer the question. If not, then skip it and try again later. That's the strategy yes, that you would like to tell to other students, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay, great. Very nice. So we have almost come to the end of this uh, podcast. Um, do you have any questions for me? No, man. no questions okay fine uh, so that was all about this interview thank you so much Harsh it was so nice talking to you thank you ma'am same for You're myself okay. also ma'am okay great very much